So this episode of Somebody Somewhere is all about the food in China. There's good, there's bad, there's horrible. The first spot we checked out was a hot pot place and it got weird right off the bat. We're in Beijing, it's our first real day. They gave us these bibs to wear with beautiful little frills. I've never felt prettier in my life. We're getting this food, I don't know what it is, they just ordered it for us. There's like large hot pot filled with some kind of liquid. Could be a soup, not really sure. This is the spicy, this is the non-spicy. We thought that both were soups. The lady like ran over freaking out. Too hot, hot, hot. And we realized that the hot one is not soup, it is literally just for cooking. And apparently it have burned our throats. You know, we almost just ate that fucking. I probably would have just eaten that broth. They handed us these little bags. I also don't know what these bags are for. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so I was kind of surprised about the food in China because I, everyone had told me that it was not like American Chinese food. The food was pretty similar. Maybe a little less saucy, a little less sugary. The Kung Pao chicken was exactly what we get in the United States. Whenever Peter and I eat, Asian food, we always rate it on a 1 to 10 level of fishiness. Even if it's like chicken, it still is on like a level of fishiness. Like how fishy is it? It's like level 3 or 5 or 6. Most things in Asia are. This is like a 2. It was delicious. It is hitting the spot. Yeah, sometimes you're walking around, you're, you're trying to find a great restaurant, and it's just taking so long that you're starving. And so you just like, you fall into wherever you, where you can. You know, that happens when you're traveling. So you're getting coffee, you're getting churros. Churros for breakfast, classic. Chinese dish. It's like funnel cake. It's really hitting the spot. Not fishy at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby. Good morning. Sometimes you gotta put the camera down and enjoy your food, you know? We hear there is one of the best breweries in all of Asia on this street. Do it all at our other location. So we had some good food, we had some bad food, we had some really bad food. We had some gross fried chicken. Be careful where you're headed. Fast food in Beijing is just as bad as fast food in America. We found this. A local fast food. What I've heard, is super traditional Chinese meal, you're supposed to leave a little bit on the plate. Let them know that you've had more than, than enough to be like more than satisfied with your meal. So I left. I left some on the plate. It's really gross. This was like some, uh, you know, I don't know, mystery, mystery fucking jelly, chicken jelly. You try and get away from that as much as possible. But it's everywhere. I mean, it's as, as prevalent here as it is in the United States. They're all over the place. It's like an Anthony Bourdain. We want to get some Peking duck for days now, so we're going to meet up with me and Jojo and they're gonna take us to the spot for Peking Duck. Right away you could tell it was a little different because as soon as we got there, all the food was already on the table. She had already ordered everything, she had already paid for everything. All we had to do was sit down and enjoy. Okay. Come back. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. The hospitality is just off the chart. Yeah. By far our favorite restaurant in Beijing was this place, Mr. Xi, or as I think the locals pronounce Mr. Sure. It was a dumpling spot. They cooked phenomenal dumplings. It was out in the open. You could see them making it. The finest dumpling tacos in town. Ooh, dude, all the pictures. That's what I want. Mr. She was always on hand, giving thumbs up, just like his sign. This is a uh, garlic dumpling sauce. <laughs> Try to clear up the sign of problem. He's there. His son is serving food. It's like a family atmosphere. So this is a, kind of a different style of dumpling. It's just beef. Just beef. a taco shell. But it's dumpling. It's really good. We tried all the other dishes, uh, including this really strange full tomato covered with about a half pound of sugar. Uh, this is one of the most bizarre dishes I've ever seen. It tastes just like it looks. Fucking sugary tomatoes. It's not good. It's not bizarre because it's like weird ingredients. It's just, why would you do that? We did have a couple very, very delicious meals, but none of them were off the chart. Everything was just kind of what I expected. Dumplings, chicken, fish. 
rice. I went into this kind of thinking that there's gonna be just crazy weird foods and it really isn't that much different than the Chinese food you get in America. Yeah, there's like scorpions on a stick. Yeah, there's some weird stuff, but it really is not that big of a deal. Um, you know, your stomach can only handle what it's used to eating, so just be aware that if you're staying at a hostel and you're eating weird foods, you might offend your friends. In the next episode of Somebody Somewhere, we're gonna check out the Hutongs, which is a down and dirty neighborhood. It's a bit more real. Uh, we're gonna talk to some cool people doing some cool things. Check it out.